Thanks, Lopez. <laughs> Thanks, Lopez. Nailed it. Thanks, Lopez. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tim Hollingsworth from Odium Restaurant in downtown Los Angeles. I'm also a James Beard awarded chef. Welcome to making the most of your meals. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make one of my favorite dishes, which is marinated and grilled tri-tip. And then we're gonna take that leftover beef, we're gonna maximize our time and our value, and we're gonna make a beautiful open-faced tri-tip sandwich. Leftovers do not have to be boring. These days, I'm trying to make the most out of my meals. I have a large family. My wife does not like leftovers. So there's nothing that I love more than making dinner the night before and turning it into something completely different so it doesn't feel like you ate the same thing twice. Two great dishes that help me be successful in my marriage and my family. <laughs> I love beef. I eat a lot of beef. And the thing that I love about it is that you can eat it in so many different ways. Strip steak, top sirloin, you're grinding it up, you're making burgers, you have a brisket and you're cooking it for 24 hours. So the first recipe we're gonna be making today is marinated and grilled tri-tip with potatoes, spinach, and white wine roasted garlic. This is something to me that is very, very special because I grew up eating a lot of tri-tip. We had a large family. We didn't have a ton of money. That was kind of like our cut of beef. This one came nice and trim for us. I do enjoy having the fat cap on there. This is the, the marinade that I use literally every single time that I cook tri-tip. I love it that much. Balsamic vinegar, onion powder, and garlic powder. I have two different types of chili here. We have cayenne pepper, and we have chili flakes, freshly picked thyme, chopped fresh garlic, onions that have been quartered. Now we'll just take a whisk and we're gonna combine all of these ingredients. We just wanna give the dry ingredients a chance to kind of break down and dissolve a little bit. We'll add a pinch of salt, fresh pepper here, and then we'll add our olive oil. So take our tri-tip. Really wanna make sure that we massage it in. This marinade is really, really good if it goes for a long time. You want basically all the marinade to kind of come up and, and cover the tri-tip as much as possible in order to make sure that your marinade is actually penetrating on both sides of the meat and not just on one side. Luckily, we have a great team who already marinated this for us. Should we go grill it? Want to make sure that you kind of drain any residual oil that wants to fall off. Let it ride. All right, let's check this guy out. Looks and smells delicious. We're gonna let that rest before we slice it up. So you wanna make sure you're slicing against the grain. The meat structure in the tri-tip benefits from being cooked a little bit more than a medium rare. So this is closer to a medium. So this looks great right here for the tri-tip that we're gonna serve for our steak and potatoes. And then we're gonna reserve a little bit of the tri-tip. That's gonna be for our open face sandwich. All right, so now we're gonna make our leftover tri-tip. This thing is gonna be incredible. We have this beef. Gently warmed it up, and I also want to make sure that I can slice it nice and thin here. The thinner I can get it, the better my sandwich is gonna look, because I'm gonna get these nice little ribbons. We'll take our, our toasted bread, and put a little bit of our aioli over the top of it. Next, we'll add our tomatoes, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of Malden finishing salt, a touch of red wine vinegar, a little bit of olive oil. We'll just fold it, make like these nice ribbons. And in between those ribbons, we'll take our nice wilted spinach. And then last but not least here, we'll take our marinated onions, a little drizzle of olive oil, and a touch more salt over the top. All right, here we have two of my favorite dishes to serve to my family. Tri-tip two ways, marinated and grilled tri-tip with roasted potatoes, wilted spinach, and white wine roasted garlic. And we took that leftover tri-tip, shaved it really, really thin, maximizing our time, maximizing our value and affordability. Open face sandwich style on a little bit of sourdough. Let's dig in. I like to make sure I get a piece of everything here. A lot of flavor here. It's nice and tender because of that marinade. I really love that smokiness on the, of the tri-tip. Phenomenal. Open face sandwich. You can either eat this with a knife and fork or you can go in just like I like to go in, not be afraid to make a mess. Mm. Wow. There's something about crispy bread, perfectly in seasoned tomatoes, just kind of balancing all together. Really, really makes for a hearty yet light lunch. This is one of my favorite things. We showed you our hack. We cooked one tri-tip and we've turned it into two meals to maximize affordability, value, and efficiency. Man, I love tri-tip. <laughs> if you wanna watch me and some other great chefs make the most of more incredible meals, go to beefitswhatsfordinner.com. Can you do it again with your mega
smile? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Forgot to smile? <laughs> I started cooking because I needed a job in high school. I would say I do always cook nice for myself. You know, I always go the extra mile on it. Whenever I think about cooking beef, you know, I really think about growing up and outside at the barbecue, cooking with my dad, cooking with my brothers, and really what food is for me. It's about g gathering people around the table and eating and enjoying, you know, each other's time and company. Food brings people together.